showing you now how to put on a free cap on a head and um, to start with a rough um, with a rough sit on the head you look at those moon shaped holders they should be nicely below the ear lobe and if they don't do that you can pull gently here hold all the tubes and then pull gently on this moon shaped holder and pull it out a little bit maybe one centimeter and that's okay other side we do the same A little bit more. Okay, should be okay. Make sure the plug is always over the shoulder of your client. And um, now we place the chin strap, which is here. And this is the, the the side is outside and you connect it here so you can easily remove it later if you want to um, change the cap or put the cap off. Then we put the chin strap to the other side. You can already put the chin strap below the chin or you can also do, do it like this or this, up to you. We do it like this now. And here we are. And now you, you can pull here, you can pull here a little bit more, like so that it's comfortable, not too much. Okay, like this. Make sure that the this is the ground electrode. It's um, in the middle of the uh, line of the nose, not on Asian, but it's a good orientation point. Um, look for the middle line, for the middle line, and uh, make sure that your this line is kind of straight. And if it doesn't do that, you can always correct it. Now we see here is a lot of loose tubes and we try to just um, correct this and pull gently on those tubes so that we get more pressure on the electrode holders. A little bit more here, a little bit more there. I do this very slowly now. Um, later on you will do will see that it's going pretty fast. Still too loose. We will put a little bit more here. Go to the other side and uh, pull as much so that there are no loose strings or loose tubes any longer. You see now this this is a very important one. Um, it should stay on T3 or T4 and it already almost does it. Here is, this is T3, okay? And uh, we already have roughly our um, positions because the free cap helps you to find the positions. It's not so super accurate because you can adjust it individually to the head size and the shape of your client's head. So there's a, a lot of freedom in it. Yeah? but it also helps you to find the right positions if you know a little bit where your positions on the 1020 uh, system, where they are during the process of um, uh, pulling strings and so on, it might happen that this, uh, the whole cap is flipping backwards. To avoid this, you pull more on this, um, on this tubes that are frontal tubes and string here the string here and um, correcting again for the positions of fp1 fp2 you see okay here we are 
FPZ, which is the ground. And um, then we go to the side again, and we look at the position here, the loose tube. We correct it, we strengthen it, we pull a little bit more here. Okay, it's getting more tense now, and get more pressure on the client's head and on the skin. You can always check for, the, for uh, enough pressure, not too much, but, but enough. I correct now for the positions of the, because I want that to, be, to get one line. Um, this is not a really um, uh, good example for, for a human head. Every human head is different and it's, well, it's, it's, it's a smaller one. And so the cap is a little bit bigger than, than it should be. So I, just, I adjust it. And I know where my T3 and T4 are because I I know they are kind of in this, this spot here and I'm trying to correct it and put it exactly there where I want it. Here is my T3 yeah. and on the other side the same. Where is your T3? And you correct it so you, so you have a, a nice straight line from here to ZZ, and now you, you see this is not really straight. Uh, I can correct it, and I pull a little bit here, pull it into the, I put it in the right position, and here it is. Here we have a loose tube again. We pull it down, getting enough pressure, this is good. And, um, well, if you have a real, uh, human being, you would not act like this, like I'm doing now, but um, you, of course you, you, you are the one that moves and you're not holding the head like this, of course. Uh, you're manipulating in a more, uh, less rigid way, like, like I do it here. Okay, I'm trying to correct the front line a little bit more. Okay, I see I have good fit of the electrode here. Now I see there is a little bit of a, um, this line is not so straight, I can correct it. I'll do it now. I just pull a little bit here, pull a little bit there, and then the line is straight. We have, look at T5 and T6, T5, T6, and, T, uh, and look at uh, the line of T3 and T5. Well, we have, have a little bit of a loose string here, but it's not so much. I try to correct it. Um, I make sure that the, the distance between T3 and F7, for example, is, is a little bit like four fingers. And uh, well, it's a little bit, yeah, it should, it should be more. So I can correct it and put this a little bit more here. And, and I can also correct the distance between T5, uh, T3 and T5, yeah, that's okay. Now, let's look at the mastoid electrode. Um, you can always totally remove also your electrode and then put it back to the tube by, um, by stretching the tube and then press, press down on the groove of the, of the holder and then you have it here. Now, you see this is not really fitting very well, so you try again. Make sure it, it fits well on the on the surface of the of the skin. Then you pull again and press down, pressing, and now you see it has a much better fit. Now it's 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 on the skin, and then it fits well. We still have our moon shaped holder nice below the earlobe where it should be. Uh, so you have space if you want to correct something you can still pull and this moon shaped part is not going above the yellow you don't want to have it here because that would be not comfortable for the client all right um, look at 01 and 02 and we also want this in one line we want this a little bit more here so that we have the distance to t5 and t6 more uh, in, a, in, a, in a equivalent way and equivalent distance. 
like we know from the 10 pin system. Now I'm correcting here again. Um, at, at the moment, I'm um, what I'm doing is uh, try to adopt a cap which is not really good for this head, yeah? but it helps you to learn how you can do this if you have a more difficult problematic head size and head shape where usual caps don't work very well. But with a free cap, uh, you can make it optimal. Uh, you can put it in an optimal uh, spot so you meet the criteria for 1020 system. Now this is, uh, I can look on the front, I see this is not, the line here is a little bit, well, but you can still okay if, if you're tolerant, but um, I'm not that tolerant now. I want to make it more straight line, so I'm pulling the front, the front tube, and so I get a little bit better on the front line here. Now my FP1, FP2 is, is, in, a, is in, a, in a place where it's okay. I look at the pupils, it's my orientation point. I draw a line from the pupils up, so I, uh, I meet my FP1, FP2, and um, look at the other spots here, and I see all electrodes are on the, on the right place. That's it. Removing the cap is easy, like this. You just open one side of the cap, and then you take it off.